So I'm gonna pack all the liquids in the zipper bag to make sure they don't, you know, they don't leak out. And actually, that's an, uh, you know, airlines make you do that. So I'm packing my shoes and oh, my pillow. I always squeeze it in the tiny. I love this pillow because I can make it very small and it's just super comfortable. Uh, jewelry is always individually packed. You don't want them to tangle together. And I got this very nice bag at Copper Airlines. I love the Panamanian style it has. And a uh, coat, I'm taking this one. It's very light and warm and I can squeeze it in a little bag just like my pillow. We're going to Melbourne so it's going to be a little bit cold during night and very warm during day. So I don't want to overpack. Uh, I never use the travel bags. Instead, I like to use these uh, plastic bags because I can vacuum it later. Um, clothes, I do put a order like the ones I'm going to most likely use at the front and the rest at the bottom. Squeeze, squeeze, and you can see how much the size has been reduced. And uh, this time I'm packing two bags, one for swimwear and one for outdoors. Usually I do like pants and then, um, you know, tops in a separate, separate bag. So I'm packing the ones I'm less like to use first, and yeah, that's underwear is also packed in a trash bag. <laughs> Shoes always at the at the at the back of the bag, and uh, important stuff and things you want to have handy in the front. I'm also taking my Polaroid and my hat this time, so always hat is always hard to pack. Liquids always on the top because it's easier to take out during uh, when when they're checking your bag, right? And all personal documents very lightly together packed with me in a purse. And that's about it. I'm gonna weight it and oh, five kilograms. That's below the limit of seven kilograms by AirAsia. So that's how I pack everything in one simple school bag.